Wakanda A-Pass is a complete platform with powerful tools and services that let you create rich and easily deployable web applications. Based on robust and reliable technologies, Wakanda Server is mainly a NoSQL database, providing a server-side JavaScript engine and HTTP server, as well as a highly efficient Chrome-based web debugger. The Wakanda stack also includes an application framework that glues the client and server sides together with a comprehensive REST and RPC service and a rich set of HTML5 widgets. Additionally, Wakanda Studio offers a user-friendly development environment with sleek WYSIWYG editors to accelerate data model and UI design. Once you've created an app with Wakanda, you can easily deploy it either on-premise or using the Wakanda Cloud service. This video will give you a quick overview of Wakanda Cloud and how easy it is to deploy your applications with the service. We'll first deploy a simple sales app made using Wakanda. We'll then enrich it with additional functionality. Let's get started by opening our Wakanda application. To deploy the current app, we click on the Cloud button on the toolbar and type in our credentials. For the app to be available online, we'll need to register a domain name. We click on the Create a New Application link. On the console, we select the free deployment offer. Sales seems to be a good name for our application. We submit, and that's all we need to do on the console. Back in the studio, we refresh the list of available apps, select the newly registered domain, and click on the Publish button. We wait a few seconds, and voila! The sales application is now deployed. More interestingly, any modification to the local app can be synced with the remote application simply by clicking on the cloud button. No more typing involved. To demonstrate that, we'll add a simple button to the main view of our demo application. We'll drag and drop a new button widget to the app's main view. We style it using a predefined CSS class. Then we'll define a target URL the button should direct to. We save the modifications and click on the Cloud button. And there we go. The remote app is now up to date. For more advanced uses, you can configure the studio to choose which files are to be synced with the remote application. Let's go back to the Cloud Console for a moment. For each application, the console gives us a quick overview of the current memory and disk usage, as well as a detailed view of the app's history and logs. There is also a view detailing real-time usage statistics for memory, storage, and network throughput. You can bind your own domain names to a deployed application in the Domains view. And if you have collaborators working with you, you might want to look at the Permissions view, where you can invite other developers and assign them permissions as you see fit.